In the bottom, nope, the top left-hand corner, we have as the blue Terran, it is Dignitas Shell. And in the bottom right-hand corner, as the red Zerg, we have alternate attack Dark Force. Now, Dark Force has been very disappointing this season, unfortunately. He's one of my favorite Zergs, too. I love his style. I love his composure. I love his crisis management. But he really hasn't been able to put it all together. He is sitting at 0-4, last in the league. Sho is standing one and three, second to last in the league. So this hmm. is basically who wants a fighting chance to move forward or into even next season. Yeah, yeah, into next season or maybe a tiny slither of a chance to make it to the playoffs. Guys, of course, uh, other than Demaga, Sho's been taking off pretty good wins at the DreamHack uh, Open. He beat Livezerg and not. <laughs> <laughs> Nazma Jaz, or I, I can't even pronounce his name correctly, but yeah, like he shows just shown, shown a good TVZ. Um, it's just definitely one of his more comfortable matchups. Uh, compared, also Dark Force though, his matchup of preference has been ZVP in the past, and uh, his ZVT we haven't seen too much of it. Again, we've only caught some of his ZVZ and uh, ZVP in the past, but Dark Force, this guy made a huge run in season one. Um, what's going on in season three? Do you think, Andre? I'm not sure. Do you think it's his play style? Do you think uh, he hasn't really been matching up that well? Is it just, unfortunately, he's playing some of these beast players like Demaga and all these people? I really don't know. His late game has been very lackluster. He's been going all in off of three bases a lot more this season. Mm -hmm. I think Dark Force has been trying to change it up, up and it's been too much for him. Mm. Uh, no, I'm not even going to say that because I've seen him be successful in the past. So I don't know yeah. what it is. I, I would actually love to interview him if he wins. I want to ask him, I mean, wh what do you think it is that's been, um, you know, really doing this to your to your record and your play? Because I know the Dark Force that's good. I know yes, we've seen the Dark it. Force that we love and has been playing like a freaking beast. And, you know, he just hasn't been showing up this last four weeks. Yeah, I mean, Dark Force... Don't get me wrong, he's not t awful in ZVT. In fact, he's he's even taken games off players like Tasia, Hart from Team Complexity, beaten, you know, Tarson in the Take TV Reloaded Invitational. And he's been able to take games off of them. Just he hasn't really proven himself as one of these Zergs that people look to, you know. Uh, they were talking about it the other day. This being Mr. Bitter and Rodden, they're like, oh, you know, like, is... is like, who are the Zergs that you name from Europe that are big ones? Like, Reds, you know, Demaga, like, all these other big people. But you don't think necessarily Dark Force. Well, um, see, I would. Oh, he you made would? It, yeah, he made okay. it to the EPS Finals against Hashogs where he did lose out. But still, I mean, he's a fantastic Zerg. I would always consider Dark Force to be of the higher echelon of Zergs in the European scene. Just lately, he hasn't been performing to what his abilities actually are. And it's kind of unfortunate because... I know his breakout performance was the NASL Season 1 Finals, where he took out Alive, who made it to the Season 1 Finals yeah, that's true. through the open bracket, just like Puma. So, obviously, he has the skills. We oh, just yeah, need I to don't see doubt it. that Yeah, we, we just need to see it all come together. Yeah. I do want to mention the build real quick. Show went for a delayed gas command center first and then into a factory. So he basically said, I'm going to get a slightly later factory at the cost of a slightly earlier um, factory. Did I say that? Yeah. Command Center Factory, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and look at this. We actually have a super fast third base. Mm -hmm. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is with the patch change. Yes. Although, oh no, they put this on the European server. Oh, right, before the patch was adapted. So the European, oh, yeah, okay. they didn't they didn't get it as fast. So, yeah, you know, uh, this actually doesn't have the queen change. We look at the queen right now, the overlords, they've been moving a little bit slower. But... Nonetheless, still, uh, we'll, we've seen Zergs do pretty well on this map in the past, not necessarily the worst, but we see that Dark Force is, is stopped mining gas altogether for a little bit of time, now focus, focused a while on uh, drone production solely, and you can see that he sees the Hellions immediately outside of his natural now show. Uh, he follows up with a couple mar with a Marauder, and he's getting fast stim. Very interesting as well, because at first when he was producing his Marauder, I thought he was going to go Marauder Hellion, but uh, nope, he's going back to Marines, so... Interesting. I think the Marauder is just to defend in case there is some sort of road circling baneling all yeah, in. Yeah, my thoughts are exactly. Too. But here we go. The first six Hellions are going to get in here. A nice surround by the Zerglings. Is it going to be enough? Mm, and it looks yeah. like it will. Huh. Very nicely played by Dark Force. He'll clean that up very nicely. Not only that, he gets his creep spread. He gets super early third base. This should have been punished. But unfortunately, Sho did not scout it. 
And with that going unnoticed, Dark Force takes a gigantic advantage. He will just skyrocket in the income tab. You see 46 harvesters right now. That's going to shoot up pretty soon, probably to around 60. Yeah, uh, sorry, I was handed a note from uh, my my producer. StarcraftTools.net, the one that was shown on Isaac Community, apparently that crashed from too much traffic. So <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. The well, fact that it's so such an important it, thing. I th I'm uh, obviously going to use it. Yeah. It's like a resource that why wouldn't she uh, yeah. use it? Browser-based, too, so you don't have to download anything. It's pretty cool. Um, but also, nothing that's pretty cool is this double eBay thing that we see a lot of Terrans have been doing in TVZ to try to ke catch up in upgrades, except Dark Force uh, just started his plus one. So, in fact, Show is going to be ahead of that and ahead of the curve when he goes for if he goes for a 2 2 timing. He's uh, powering up right now with more barracks. In fact, he hasn't switched off his reactor from his factory just yet. Uh, yeah. Normally, we see some Terrans go for siege mode and tanks immediately. What do you think about this uh, from Show? Well, he's going to do some huge 1 1 timing with Hellions, Marines, and Marauders. He's looking to just bash his opponent across the face and hopefully get ahead from that. Um, this is just a. I don't know if this is premeditated, but. It feels that way <laughs> because, yeah. I mean, this has all been just show attacking in. Fails no matter what. He already has the same build uh, that he's been planning on doing mm -hmm. lined up. Yeah, and uh, he's going to snipe one of the queens. Dark Force going to go oh for a huge God. surround. And he does catch four of the Hellions. No, five of the Hellions. And th those Hellions are actually really important in terms those, of just controlling yeah. the map. And you can see not throwing away immediately. That's not, not only so that, you empower Zergling Banely. Yeah. Now your Marine and Marauder, the two units that you've been trying to overdevelop this whole time, are going to fall victim to these single units, the Banelings. And mm -hmm. on creep with centrifugal hooks, it's going to be very difficult to actually connect, excuse me, not connect, but to run away from that. So Sho might have just lost his timing because of that. There is no 1-1 mm. one -one timing. The Hellions are dead. He has to go and just macro. The third command center is coming up here. And off of this, Dark Force knows it. He will just take his fifth and sixth gas. I like this mm. move. Well, to be fair, he, he's been preparing for that just in case. He had an armory started before he even moved out with Hellions. So uh, he was preparing for those upgrades okay. just in case. So I think uh, it was sort of like a backup plan just in case. And that's pretty good. That's actually a really thought out build from show. Darth was in the meantime gassing up number five and six while getting his spire. Uh, Mirrorless on this field, we've seen him play pretty well just because the way you can kind of poke in between uh, the, the si left side of the map here for show, and you're able to really dart in between the main base and uh, out to the what would be the fourth base normally. Now, what's interesting is that uh, Dark Force at this point hasn't really been making that many units. He's actually been getting away with making a lo little bit of Zergling, playing a very minimalist style. And he's been droning very comfortably, but at the same time, Show's been making SCVs furiously. So, despite the fact that Dark Force has been droning heavily, you can see Show's actually still up in workers, almost right behind him. Check the income tab shows 68 to 63. Yeah. So, of course, with that income <laughs> advantage going to... No, they're actually the same because of the third base. That's right. Yeah. And now Dark Force is going to see that his opponent wants his third base. And this might not end up so well for Show, but Dark Force is not springing to action right here. I think he could have actually clamped down on this. Show does have 1 1 2 2 approaching here with 1 0 upgraded, but only uh, Carapace being upgraded at this point. He's not continuing on with the upgrades. Mm. He, as you said, switching over to Mutas, which are good, but they're off time. 13 minutes in, your opponent already has 2 2. Uh, Mutas don't do well when they're 0 0 against 2 2 Marines. Uh, they're just yeah. not cost efficient. There's very hard troubles at actually making them cost efficient. But I think this is actually just a defense oh. against drops. He's not actually doing this to mass a ton of mutas. No, he's not. In fact, he's using a huge amount of his gas for 18 banelings on top of the uh, existing 10. That'll put him at to almost 30 banelings, and he's got the creep spread also to really send in a huge momentum wave for these beings. If he chooses to commit to it, Dark Force runs all the way around. He's trying to go for a huge three-prong attack from the left, center, and the right. And will Show be able to defend his Marines are coming back as fast as they can, splitting up, but they're only going to meet another group of beings. A fantastic flank from Dark Force. The SCVs are trying to run, but they will die just as quick as they left. As you can see, Show has nothing really left to defend the third. No, he doesn't. The siege tank count was just too low. And this is the big problem with going this style, the 2-2 style. You just don't have enough AOE to deal with a mass Zergling Baneling hit. And here we have a Dark Force is just monstrously ahead. Looks like he will fall back. Let's take a quick look at that 
one battle uh, where he just went so monstrously ahead. Yeah. This this flank was just absolutely fantastic. It was so good too because uh, the Zerglings just got there in time to absorb a lot of hits from the Banes and the flank from the Banelings. How can anyone forget that? Exactly. As there's a small little sliver uh, making sure that the units cannot escape. But do note that that was a very minimal amount of siege tanks. Mm -hmm. You can see by just getting so many Hellens and actually trading them, Shell was really put in a tough situation. What does he actually go for for at that position? It's so hard to because he knows, or at least his opponent knows, his AOE is so far behind. So does he actually just mm. wait to take his third, or does he go and try to grasp it by the horns? Obviously, he tried to grasp it by the horns. Does not work out too well yeah. when against Zergling, Bailing, Galore. Well, uh, the big thing is that Dark Force now has a lot of comf uh wiggle room, that's what I'm going to say, because normally this is the time if Terran, they can't stop the third from going up, then their hive timing is very uncomfortable for them. They can't necessarily get it that easily. Terrans can move out, try to pick a time before Zerg can get the Broodlords and Fest, whatever they want to get, Ultralisks, plus three, plus three. Um, and now Dark Force has that flexibility. You can see he's getting up Hive, and he can continue to put on a lot of pressure. In fact, he's got a, w a lot more Mulus this time around, and he's got 93 Zerglings. The huge Zerglings that we've been seeing out of many players like Morrow and uh, July Zerg and Damaga, still very prevalent here on Belcher Beach. But this is an upgrade style still from Shell. He's getting 3-3, and his opponent is just now about to hit two melee attack. That'll help, obviously, for this attack, but... Mm -hmm. Um, still the upgrade advantage goes to our Terran hero over here, and he might be able to defend this. If he defends this, just pushes out with a 3-3 timing, that could be pretty strong, but we'll see right now. Oh, the Thor trying to absorb a lot of the blast. Oh, the Spainlings all explode on the tank, and the Thor, wow. that's exactly what Sho wants. He just has to split his units perfectly, and look at that! Sho with a fantastic arc, able to annihilate the remaining of the Banelings and Dark Force. His attack was pretty much nullified. Where is your supply lead, Dark Force, as they are currently almost dead even? Darfu was up about 30 supply there, completely evaporating to the might of those Marines. Yeah, the perfect spread was able yeah. to do it. Very nicely played, and it looks like the Marines are just pressing forward. Now, as I said, the 3-3 three, three is going to hit. As soon as that 3-3 three, three hits, Sho will know this is a great timing to actually yes. push out. I will 100% have the upgrade advantage over my opponent. There's just been too much gas that's been traded mm. this whole time. He saw the upgrade happen. 2-1 is up for the Zerklings. Yes. So Sho right now in a fantastic position. He just needs to make sure mm. he's not going to fall victim to any Banelings. He's not, oh, he's not in siege mode either. In fact, he's going to siege really late. And oh no, the Banelings are going to crash onto the Marines. Uninhibited and Dark Force picking a perfect time show his 3-3 three, three did not even really finish no, in time for that battle plus three armor just completing wow. show has to go back to your drawing board immediately loading up his medevac and uh probably gonna go for a drop he has to make something happen blue lords are about to come out greater spire finishing up and fester's almost out into the field and from this point dark force's upgrade disadvantage only gets stronger so exactly yeah he can only equalize which gives him the advantage because he has more bases than his opponent but I have to say that one last battle, that mm. hurt him so much. That was a position where I felt like Sho had a commanding lead. If only he waited a little bit, just clear out the creep waves, siege up your tanks, remove the creep tumors, and you're great. You have that 3-3, three, three, you're looking fantastic. But now Sho needs to remax in units, and that will give Dark Force, it should give him the time to actually get his upgrades uh, well, he's not getting it right now, but plus two carapace is on the mm -hmm. way. He should get his plus three, plus three ASAP. Yeah, uh, usually line that up with your adrenal glands accordingly, but uh, I mean, it's been working for Dark Force thus far. The, n the name of the engagements for Dark Force has been positioning. He doesn't necessarily need uh, the upgrades if his beings are connecting the way they exactly, have been. Other yeah. than that one time that exploded on the Thor and the Siege Tank for Sho. But it's been very back and forth. If Sho could swing the next battle into his favor because that before any significant amount of Blue Lords come out, because there's only two Corruptors, and uh, as a result, only two Blue Lords could be out. And Sho, again, he's plus three uh, vehicle weapons have started, so he still has a pretty significant upgrade advantage. The only thing is that he's losing traction and Dark Force, his creep spread has been immaculate this game. Yeah, that empowers the Banelings so much. You can see the counterattacks as well are really strong. I do want to mention that Sho has nothing to say about Broodlords. He has no response. Hmm. Only a single starport. Let's see, the upgrades, are they? Hmm. I highly doubt. No, no. Plus, plus one isn't even upgraded. A lot of times you will see Terrans doing that, actually. After the plus two attack, they'll just stop completely in uh, the weapons the vehicle weapons switch over. 
but Broodlords will be so powerful, and I like what Hassel... Hassel... <laughs> what? Yeah. I like what Dark Force is doing, just slowly, you know, uh, trading off his Zerglings for a couple of Broodlords, mm -hmm. and he is able to do a little bit of damage, that's yeah. great, but yeah. all he needs right now is time, and he can get an even larger Broodlord count with Infestors as well. That should signal to show um, that he's like, okay, well, oh, actually, hold on. Talk about signaling to show. The fact that he's letting these Zerglings and Muta go into the main, oh no, they're targeting oh the God. army, a fantastic choice that is of the utmost priority, as uh, right now there's, uh, the, those buildings being taken out is very devastating indeed, and the best part is Dark Force is still freeing up supply ultimately for more Corruptors, more Infestors, whatever he wants. Because at this point, he uh, needs a little bit more space for uh, more army units. Show, uh, he's he's looking more and more tight, but he does have a drop here into the main, trying to see if he can pick off whatever he can. But unfortunately, hasn't been able to do much damage. As you can see, all aggression from Show has been pushed down. For this one. And now think, all the way back then, when he uh, when he got his th or he didn't get his three three. Excuse me, I was going to say he had his three three. Now he has his three three suited up. But it's coming, what is that, like four or five minutes later than it should have? Mm. Uh, and mm. I don't think he can actually stop this. Oh nice fumble man. growth. Keeps all the units in place. The Banelings will connect. Now the reinforcements of show will come up here. But Broodlords are inbound. And this will do massive damage. The Siege Tanks need to unsiege. One Siege Tank will go down. Two Siege Tanks go down. And Chase is being given. Oh, and Show's going to try to see if he can fight back at this choke by the Vespine Geyser. But Dark Force doesn't even care. He's just going to roll in his units immediately. And the Banelings aren't really that effective. But they're still uh, Infestors ready to fungal if he can bait the Marines out. <laughs> of course, Show does not want to extend too far. But... Man, these are close calls, and Show can't <laughs> afford to keep stimming his Marines that much longer. A lot of them are pretty weak. They could die to one fungal if that was a good. It looks like this drop will be cleaned up pretty easily. There's tons and tons of Corruptors out in the field. He's just itching to turn those into Brood 18 Lords. Corruptors, you're right. And he can he's transforming four right now, and once the Brood Lord count gets extremely high, especially because Show's still not making Vikings. So he does. he's just going to answer with more Marines. Yeah, that's fine. Just play the counterattacking style right now until you save up in the gas. You're able to get Vi Oh, he's still not making Vikings. No, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's I thought, still not I thought for Vikings. sure he would switch over right now. That's no. the normal. And he's um, still on one star pool. Well, this is not going to work out well. <laughs> 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 this is a wonderland mm. for fungal growths. And he can always get fungal growths down. They'll be so effective. The mm. medevac count isn't high enough. You don't have ghosts. Oh, the corruptors are going to flow right by the medevacs as well. Three medevacs, completely vulnerable. Oh, but Show oh managed to ferry just in time. The riskiest mission of all time has been halfway successful. In fact, half those marines have fallen, and uh, that's actually about 30 supply there. But Show going to use his opportunity to move to the left side of the map, getting the Zerg unit out of position so he can take a base. That's what you need to do, and that's a step in the right direction for Show. Exactly. Just keep doing this. And you can just get enough time to get a response to those brute lords, but mm. still he is not producing anything that he needs to to defend against these brute lords. Marines, <laughs> Marines, they're good, but they're not that good, man. <laughs> well, I saw the m the meme. It was like one key to make, one key to attack. It's all I need, and it just shows the A button with Marines. <laughs> Imagine if you binded like SEVs to A and just made everything A. So it's like just keep pressing just A. Just keep the whole pressing game. A the whole time. So funny. Uh, That'd be awesome. But uh, but yeah, that's true. You would have it. But then, how would you have uh, how would you have the SCVs attack then? Because if you press A, actually, well, that yeah, makes that's more sense. that's fine. But everything's A, bro. Oh, that's true. I never thought about that. Make every you make everything <laughs> make A. everything A. Make Marauders A. Don't care. Macro so easy. <laughs> press A once. And it makes two at the <laughs> same time, like a tech lab reactor in the campaign. Exactly. Another kind of attack attempt from Dark Force, and Show continues to let him in, and this is just annoying. Um, just because, again, working on the production capability of Terran is what you always want to do. Of course, he wants to draw the attention away from the fact that the Brulos are moving across the northern border. As you can see, Show is moving also towards the western part of the map. <laughs> Armies are in complete different sides. Yes. And uh, Sho might just lose his ex his, uh, his auxiliary expansions here. Well, Sho should never engage directly on his opponent. No, he can't. That would be yeah. brutal. Full energy infestors are just really hard. In fact, he's going to sp spread up his army and try to go for multiple attacks. And I like this a lot. In fact, the Brood Lords are just straight up engaging the spaces in the top right, leaving uh, the infestors pretty vulnerable here. There you go. The infestors coming up here. Nice fungal growth get plotted down. Mm. 
and he will be able to clean up all these marines over here. In the meantime, the Broodlord's going to town, killing that planetary fortress finally, and there are Zerglings in the main that actually take out the Orbital Command Center and a ton of barracks here. Wow. This yeah, he took out four barracks. A pseudo-base trade, three infestors drop on the bottom left-hand corner, so they are losing stuff left and right. We'll see who's more efficient. Look at that bank for show. He's bank Terran right now. Yeah, uh, he's got a mutual fund going on, but he can't really, again, confront this army too long, but he's trying to slowly whittle down the Infestor energy, and if he's, and if Dark Force isn't very, very careful with his units, he could easily lose all of his Infestors, Correct. and then the Brutals would be extremely vulnerable, leaving Dark Force in, in a corner that he can't really escape from. Dark Force preparing his Ultra's Cavern, which should have been done way, way, way long ago if he wanted to, but he's been preparing these Brutal Infestor army for so long that uh, oh he goodness. hasn't really had this opportunity. And Sho is advancing further and further ahead. His tanks uh, are getting into position to try to uh, take out the Infestors from far. I but think he needs can to get he out do of this? Oh, where are the Infestors? They're, They're actually so far falling behind. back. And he needs to sprint up there as fast as possible. Nice spread by Sho. Groups up all the Marines in different directions, mm -hmm. so it's hard to do anything. But Broodlords were taken out right there. A good effort by Sho. And now his bank is starting to be spent more and more that investor count is so scary, though, but all it takes <laughs> is a couple good EMPs, and all of a sudden your Marines are empowered so much more than they were before. It's true. Investors with no energy are literally the most useless units in the game. As you can see, right now that show is taking out another expansion. All of a sudden, Dark Force's income is completely shut down other than long-distance mining, and show still has kind of steady one-base income here. As you can see, that... Show actually <laughs> doesn't really even have medevacs out, so Stims hurt his Marines incredibly much. Oh yeah. So this is this is such a oh man, this is such a tightrope game. It can either go it can go either way depending on fungals, depending on positioning. As Dark Force doesn't have much minerals, uh, really to do anything at this point. I like what Show is doing though. He's just yeah never consistently yeah, exactly never, uh, confronting. Never confronting his opponent. Always knowing where his opponent is, <laughs> and uh, never really confront, making it never so surrender. hard. <laughs> New nice. motto from show. Man. Nice. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he needs to clear out these creep tumors over here. That would be one of the number one things he has to do. But, you know, it's just unfortunate for show right now. He's fallen victim to just the onslaught of these Zerg units. They basically have all the initiative. They control yeah. where all the battles are. They tell, he tells uh, show exactly what's yeah. going to happen for the rest of this game. Uh, so the ball's in Dark Force's court. The show can just macro from this point on and get stronger, stronger. Dark Force doesn't have that much option. He senses it, too. And of course, he was waiting for Infestor Energy to restock and uh, is able to in a, his ability to push. But the big thing, and uh, the Muslim actually pointed out in his interview, which was fantastic, that Infestors are hard to attack with. They're very much a defensive zoning unit, whether or not you want to do it. So Dark Force has to be very, very cautious because every unit he loses at this point hurts much more than it would be uh, at an earlier point in the game. That's why it's so important to have positioning on your opponent because if you have a positioning like this in the top right-hand corner, then show has to go to him. So technically, it is like defending a position rather than aggressing mm. onwards. Show is going to use this time, though, to go for the counterattack, as we know and love him to do. The Broodlords will lag behind, but I don't think there's any response to these Infestors. Oh, oh my the god. The Vikings get picked off by these uh, by the Corruptors and the Fungals. As you can see, some energy used on very minimal amount of Marines. That's exactly what Show wants, but for now he still has to do a good job here. He's going to try to see if he can get a really good Conky, if he can get his massive stim. Try to see if he can confront the Infestors, and a lot of them are very vulnerable, but they managed to escape just in time. Show his Marines are still going to work on the drone count, trying to prevent Dark Force from being able to get any income, as he already recognized this arm is good as dead, but uh, Dark Force does hold, at least for now, in terms of c keeping his army intact. But in show supply now low, but he still has. Uh, actually, no, he doesn't really have much income no, whatsoever. He doesn't. I <laughs> thought he. I, th I was like, where's his bank? He had three K, three K just not too long and ago. And the fact that those infestors live, the fact that there's so many, oh the man. amount of fungal growths, the Broodlords are untouchable. There could be four Broodlords mm. out in the field, and it just does not matter. One thing, I would love Queens, but it doesn't even matter at this point just because Sho has no good response. He needs Ghosts, and that's one thing that we used to see all the time. Ghosts out on the field when Snipe was dealing 45 damage. Still, there's such a necessity in this matchup. Yeah, uh, this is really hard for Sho to break at this point. Dark Force's army is too strong. 
Get out your MC Hammer, get out Taylor Swift, because this Zerg army is going to roll all over the Terran. You can see Sho backed more and more into the corner as he's going to try to go for, I guess, another counterattack. You can see his Marines heading over to the southern part of the map, but uh, at this point, there is absolutely zero ability for Sho to anywhere confront that Zerg army. You can see he's floating his orbital, uh, trying to see if he can get some sort of income, but... At this point, what can you do as show? Dark Force moving out with his Infestor, sensing another counterattack. As uh, you can see that he's oh. going to land Fungals perfectly. And with that, the diminishing hopes of the Terran, as you can see, show not really able to do much here against the Might of Zerg. Remaining Fungals will clean everything up. Top right-hand corner is the only mining base. And, you know, show always playing his patented style, yeah. staying in the base, or staying in the game as long as possible. He has anything that he's making, he will stay. Mm, yeah, and uh, <laughs> Dark Force even has a changeling with his army. How BM would it be to have a changeling of a marine and then Neural Parasiter marine, <laughs> and, then <laughs> and then have uh, two marines, uh, even though they one of them can do something, one of them can be like. Now you are with us. But Dark Force, he's going to clean up a huge amount of the production show. Even if he has income, he really doesn't have production, the capability to make units. You can see he's being as uh, scrappy as he can be. He has orbitals and mules mining from just a couple mineral patches. But at this point, Sho, uh, his, his marine count is dwindled to just in the 20s. And uh, his marines are all segregated as well. And marines, they're only good in unison. And uh, this is looking very, very lights out, for, at least for game number one. Keep in mind, Sho does have another opportunity, but holding out as deep as he can. Dark Force, though, with eight Broodlords and 17 Infestors. Doesn't look like he's going to lose his game anytime soon. No. I, uh, nope. I don't think there's any question about that. Sho, it's we're just waiting for him to uh, basically leave the game. Just because the game, we know, the game's over. I mean, he knows it, too. He's just trying to he's play He's remaking scrapping. all his barracks, man. Uh, and it's because he feels like his opponent really can't get back into the game. Well, not uh, well. <laughs> well, you know what, man? Bitter showed me this game the other day that Terran won when he had zero supply against Zerg, and Zerg had like ten supply. So weirder things have happened. In How the many past. mules were there? Huh? How many mules were there? I, I don't know, but there were probably a lot. The idea is that <laughs> Terran had zero supply and he still won. So. The crazy things have happened in the past, but shows now supply block pretty deeply. So even that the fact that he has these barracks, he can't make anything out of it. And planetary fortresses, as great as they are against some units of Zerg, they're not really good against Broodlords. Oh, and these Marines. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, the Marines are actually trying to clear up creep on the left side, and uh, oh. It's really funny. They're they're trying to acquire the Marines like in the campaign, you know, where you move nearby Marines and all of a sudden they start working for you. That doesn't happen with changelings. No, no, unfortunately. Not work you can't pay them enough money. It's it's, tr it's it's really cool too because loyalty is really hard to find in StarCraft too. Man. So but uh, you see that's uh, Dark Force clearing up the remains. Oh he's of the going Terran for the counterattack! Froden! <laughs> this might do a lot of damage! Yeah, the Ultra's Cavern is completely exposed, but you have to think, even if they kill buildings, the Broodlings would be able to oh clean up this God. army. Just the Broodlings alone <laughs> yeah, should know, be able I to know. clean up everything. This is like a Master <laughs> Asia TT1 thing. This is, uh, this is coming down to the wire, guys. Oh, 34 oh, supply oh, against infestors. 108. Infestors! Careful, infest. Oh, they're good. Yeah, the Infestors should be no completely <laughs> good to go. <laughs> there's no sca Oh, he doesn't this have This GG scan. timing is so epic from Yeah, Shell, I know. This is, uh, this is probably one of the most epic GGs I've ever seen. All he needs to do from here... lack of GGs. All Look at those SCVs, man. They're, they're, that planetary forces is going to live as long as Dude, he's got the resources. he's got 1,300 minerals. He don't care none. <laughs> he's like, no problem, oh, son. Oh, man. I think uh, now Dark Force is starting to focus more onto those planetaries. Oh. But look at the resilience of Sho. And, uh... GG. Man, there it is. GG. He saw the command center, though. <laughs> Good lord. Dark Force takes game number one. I wouldn't have seen that coming. As, uh, that was... That was so close, but in the end, Dark Force barely irks out the game matter. on Bushier Beach. Show heartbroken after that devastating loss. Ladies and gentlemen, that game uh, was brought to you by the lovely folks over at Kingston HyperX. Go check them out. Of course, Kingston HyperX, one of the big supporters here at the NASL and all over esports. We're going to head into game number two of this epic series. <laughs> it is Show versus Dark Force. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back.